Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday morning and we are going to come together as we read from the Psalms again this morning. And we are on Psalm 8 this morning. So let's hear Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the whole earth. Your glory is higher than the heavens. You've taught children and infants to tell of your strength, silencing your enemies and all who oppose you. When I look at the night sky and see the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars you set in place, what are mere mortals that you would think about them, human beings that you should care for them? Yet you made them only a little lower than gods and crowned them with glory and honour. You gave them charge over everything you made, putting all things under their authority. The flocks and the herds and all the wild animals and the birds of the sky, the fish in the sea and everything that swims the ocean currents. O Lord, our Lord, your majestic name fills the earth. Amen. Again, another incredible psalm which talks about God, his greatness and his goodness and talks about the responsibility that is given to us as human beings. I wonder, do you ever step out at night time? How you stepped out and looked up at the sky? Um, it can be hard if you live in a city or a place where it's quite bright, but if you happen to be somewhere where it's a bit darker or even out in the countryside, and at night time, if the, sun, if the moon is bright and full in the sky, just how it fills the place with light, how light floods. If you can look up and it's a clear night and see the stars, and you try to count them, and we can't. There are so many of them. And it's just the recognition that it's God who made all of that. It's God who created that and put them in place. You know, you can navigate by the stars. There are, there are charts um, which have been prepared, and depending on the date and the time of night, you can find the position. Uh, you can navigate right away around the globe using those stars. It's just absolutely incredible. And then what God has given us, a responsibility. The psalm talks about we were made just a little lower than God. So it, it recognises that God has made us superior to all the other animals on the earth. But he's given us charge over them. Now that doesn't mean to say that we um, rule over them as such, but we are responsible for them. Just like in Genesis, um, whatever God created and put Adam and Eve in charge of what he had made. He gave them that responsibility of looking after, caring for. That's to, to give them charge. We haven't done a very good job, have we? Uh, we, we? We've abused this earth and we abuse God's creation. But maybe just stop today and think about what God has asked us to do. Yes, God talks about how he's provided... Um, all he said to Adam and how he provided all the, the fruit for them to eat. You see how there's the animals and the sacrifices that they bring um, at the very starts of life. Everything is there to, to, for, to give us nourishment, to give us sustaining um, food. But we're also to care for them. We're also to look after. We've got that responsibility. I wonder how seriously do we take that? This is a psalm which is lovely, it's wonderful, talking about God's creation. But it's also a psalm that challenges us. Challenges us to say, do we really do what God has made us to do? Do we really care for this world around us? Do we care for one another? There's a thought for today. Let's pray together. Father, thank you again for your word. Thank you again for the psalms. It's amazing to think how you guided the psalmist to write such things, to challenge us, that even today it'd be relevant to us. Even today, Lord, as we look up into the sky at night time and we see the, st the stars in place, we see the moon, to realise that you made them. And then to realise that you made us to care for this earth. Um, you put everything under our charge. Lord, help us to take that responsibility seriously. But help us also, Father, to care for one another. 
If we think about what we've been asked to pray for by PCI this day, if we think about carers and those who are shielding, Lord, that concern for one another. And we are concerned for one another. And we do pray for those who are caring for others, that you would keep them safe. And we do pray for those who are shielding. Again, Father, you keep them safe. The Lord, help us to realise what you have made us to do. That we are your creation, but we have a role to play. Father, help us to take that seriously um, as we go about our day-to-day -day lives. So Lord, thank you again for this day. And go with us, be, be a blessing to us, Lord. Keep us safe, we pray. In Christ's name, amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me. Um, if you're out and about today, please stay safe. If you're in work and actually going into work again, um, I trust that you do it in a safe way. And if you're at home, and if you're maybe struggling with that, I just pray that you would know God's presence, his peace and his blessing today. So thanks, folks, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning. Take care. Bye.